Hey everyone, this is Jake with my bring back. Continuing our 15th tutorial on the iPhone and iPad app development. And what we're going to go, be going through today is the UI web view. And as you can see from the tutorial, we've got the iPad with a simple web uh, view within the iPad parameters. So this in, in this case, we've got Google Launch. And that's what we're going to go through is actually how to develop this UI web view connected and uh, program that into simple applications. So we're going to go ahead and launch a new project here. And we'll just go with a simple view-based application. Template. Give it a name of uh, web view. Go ahead and create it. And as that's getting launched, we basically have to establish the outlet. And the outlet's going to be the UI view outlet, UI web view. And so within that, we're going to go to the web view view controller give ourselves a little bit of room and this is where we're going to declare our outlet and so as we declare our outlet we're just going to simply put IB outlet UI web view and then we're going to name it so we're just going to put uh, web page don't forget your semicolon at the end there and uh, now we're actually going to put in the UI interface into our XML or .xib there. So as you open up your iPad, the web view view controller.xib, go over to the right hand side and you'll see objects. You can use simply scroll down or search for it here. Web view, there we go. As you drag that in, you'll see it blows up to the full screen there. Just make sure it's covered in all the corners, which it's not. Drag it over your entire screen there. Go ahead and get rid of that. And then uh, don't forget to hook up the outlet that we've established, that we've declared. And by doing that with the outlet, remember we drag from the files owner to the UI web view, holding control while doing that and dropping it on. And there's our outlet, which we'll declare there. Last step is we've got to go into the implementation. And within the impl implementation, you're going to look for this implement view did load and so we're just gonna kinda go around the scenes we're not gonna hook it into any buttons we're just gonna have it so as they launch the application this web view is gonna pop up and uh, we'll launch the website that we specify so when you see this we wanna activate it so we're gonna take out that brackets there and take away that and as you can see this came back to life back to color for us it's not the green dot um, void and nil so we're gonna give ourselves a little bit of space right after the view did controller curly bracket and before the super vid view did controller sorry about that or is it getting all jumbled and we're gonna write in a statement here so we're gonna put in our uh, what we what we named our outlet so that in that in our case or what we named the UI web view controller is web page and then load request and then we're going to put in brackets again. We're going to put in NS URL request. Fill that in. Request with URL. Another bracket starting. And then NS URL. Sorry, space. URL with string. And then this is where we're going to put in our web page that we specify to go to. So in this case, we're just going to put in HTTP www.google.com. Finalize it with the closed quotations. And then we're going to end it with all of our brackets that we established earlier with the semicolon. So as you can see, we've got something going on here. And I don't like it. OK, so right here, we've actually it looks like we've self completed something that we didn't need to when we were writing it right here we just need ns earl earl with string with your website following alright so the the issue is gone so now we can simply run our application as we did previously I'm gonna go ahead and get out of the old simulator run your application and as it's compiling you should see right when you load it our web uh, google.com should show up on the web page as your web view controller and this is going to be fully functional on your computer as well as on the iPad we can simple, simply search and I can't type today Apple Apps 
and there we go we've got our controller here with uh, your web based again you can turn to the side and the UI web view controller is going to automatically rotate everything for you and customize it to the size you need so hopefully that helps guys that's kind of uh, the basics of the UI web view controller it gives you a little bit more functionality it also gives you the ability to make web based apps through the internet and then just show them on the iPad slash iPhone so hopefully that helps again uh, subscribe let us know what you guys are looking for and hopefully we can help you out with uh, the tutorials in the future on those thanks a lot guys peace out